Attorneys Andrew Baldwin and Brad Rosie in the Delphi double homicide case relied on the Indiana Supreme Court to put them back on the case. The defense team alleging a uh, bias uh, of Judge Goal that she's a supposedly shown toward her client and favoritism toward the prosecution. Even alerting prosecutor Nick McClellan that she was thinking of forcing Baldwin and Rosie out before the defenders knew they were on the hot seat. Now McClellan's made a filing calling for Allen's attorneys to be found in contempt for leaking crime scene photos and violating the court's gag order to not talk to outsiders or publicly about the case. Judge Gole and the defense attorneys are already at each other's throats as both sides want the other off the case. And there's a backlog of motions that Judge Gole must wade through to get this case back on track, including suppression of evidence. But IU Law Professor Jody Madeira says the first one may be to force Rosie and Baldwin off the case. The person who's going to resolve these motions is actually the same person whom the defense uh, alleges should be disqualified from the case. Madeira also says she believes we'll see efforts by Judge Gold to provide notice of a hearing in which Baldwin and Rosie will have to explain why they should not be removed.